not with jealousy. And he who is able to extend a helping hand for a miserable one, he is really established in the truth. Therefore, Madram Pashe Makshadil Ejataha, the principle of hunger is common everywhere. There is nothing wrong in this world. If there is something wrong somewhere, this is our nature. Then, Stirai Rangai Shushtu Adam Sastarupi, and most of us are seeking help. Help for what? Health cannot be the goal of life. It cannot be. With the means. So what for we should be healthy? Stirai Rangai Shushtu Veshema Deva Hitam Yadayu so that we become an instrument of service to the society. I'll give you an example. This is one family. And uh, very good family, everything okay. But there is no peace. So the doctor in law asks me, family, you know everything about our family. What should I do? I am terribly miserable. I said there is only one way to get out of the miseries. Go and serve the miserable people in this world. We don't want to come out of our cocoon. Like the Kupa Mandukurati. We don't want to see beyond. And then I took that lady, that girl, and introduced her to some place where she was engaged in the free medical camps. And she was going regularly. Within a short period of six months, she has stopped complaining. She says, Swamiji, today I recognize what I have. Millions even don't dream of that. And yet I complain. See? Therefore, let our health be used for serving. Deva Itam Yadayu. Then only the life is fulfilled. And for that we seek the grace of the Lord, blessing of the Lord, such as the Indra through the hands, puja through the wisdom, taksha through our vitality and Braspati through wisdom and understanding. In this manner we attain Shanti at the level of the body, at the level of the mind, at the level of understanding. If bodily we are healthy, then alone we can be of use to somebody. If mentally we are uh, not emotional wrecks, then only we can help others. And intellectually, if we have the wisdom how to live in this world, then only we can be at peace. With this prayer, now we enter the Atma Purusha. Atha, Angira, Trividaha, Purushaha, Ajayata, Atma, Antaratma, Paramatma, Chaiti. There was a student called the Tantila and he said that there were three kinds of expression of the Paramatma and which are the three Atma, the Atma Ajayata, the Purusha is born as Atma, Antaratma and Paramatma. Now the question comes, which are these three? So these three are analyzed. Now first the Atma, what do we mean by the word Atma? So, Vam Charma Masa Roma Angusta Angulya Krishta Vamsa Naka Gurpa Udara Nabi Kedra Pati Uru Kapuro Surotra Bhu Nalata Bahu Pacha Siroda Marika Akshari Bhavanti Jayate Miyate Iti Esha Bhaiyatma This is the external Atma that we live in this world. And what is that? That the external one, that the cross body, he is nothing but the dermis, the epidermis, muscles, hair, thumb, finger, back, nail, ankles, abdomen, umbilicus, organs of procreation, waist, lions, then cheeks, eyebrows, forehead, arms, backside, head, eyes, etc., etc. And ultimately, the, every body has got the same story. Asti, Jayate, Vardhate, Viparinamate, Apakshiyate, Iti Shadvikaravat Etas Kulam Jariram The body first exists in the womb of the mother, then it is thrown out. Then after the body starts growing vertically, then horizontally, then becomes old, then has many diseases, and one day by God's grace the body dies and there is a vacancy for someone else to enter in this. 
this is the story of every body and if we see our life what is our life living as the body for the body on everybody this is what we understand by the word atma i i mean to of course me me girl not girl boy so far as our whole life is lived only at the body level see in second chapter bhagwan says if you accept yourself to be body nothing wrong but then accept all that is associated with the body if it is a body body has to die accept it gracefully if it is a body it has to go through modifications and diseases accept it but what happens we want to live as a body but don't want to die see there is nothing wrong living as a body but you only as a body see friends there was one girl from kathmandu when i went to their house i asked her i said hey tell me something about your culture i know you are hindus in addition to that what is something great as a nepali a small girl that time she was about class 6 or so first statement she said i hate to be called as a nepali i said look here my dear throughout the world wherever you go you will be referred as a nepali so you have only one choice live as a nepali cheerfully respectfully or live as a nepali in the disgust of your own existence because your mangalaid eyes your expressions they are nepali you know how a nepali speaks Nepali, Bengali, Assamese, Puri, Awa—they all have the same expressions. My one of my uh, you know group in USA is Be Happy Inc. So when I told Be Happy Inc. So the person who was writing, he asked me, "How many B or Boy or B or Victory?" <laughs> Now he may try anything. He will be declared as a Nepali. For them, B and B they are not separate. Therefore, you must have seen the Saurabh Gangoli. He spells as B. Saurabh is not Saurabh. So, if you are living as a body, nothing wrong. Live as a body. and accept everything cheerfully gracefully but what we do we are nepali but we don't want to live as a nepali then what we will do we will do the makeup See? there are no eyebrows they will fix the eyebrows and we go to see a movie and start crying and become miserable and to forget these are the attachments and you take out your tissue paper and i do so with the hand is you don't know <laughs> what a fun see friends the power by heart ma we are all living as the body and if we live as the body there cannot be peace there cannot be joy there cannot be happy. because after accepting ourselves with the body then alone the secondary shoots come out so today i was writing something dictating to somebody and why doing that as a look here see we get caught up in this world with reference to the inner world and the sentient world with reference to the inner world we are caught up by possessiveness this is my house this is my dog this is my country possessiveness and then with the beings through relations this is my friend this is my enemy this is my wife this is uh, my sister 
these are the two loads we are constantly carrying and they are born only after we accept ourselves to be the body. Okay. One person approached Bhagavad Ramad Maharshi and started talking. A parrot. Those who are professional satsangi, you touch them and Vedanta starts coming. <laughs> so, he started. Bhagavan, how do we transcend the Annamaya Kosha, Pranamaya Kosha? Start it, blah, 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 blah. Bhagavan Ramad Maharshi said, stop it. Don't bother about it. Only find out who is asking this question. The moment you focus your attention on this source, everything becomes secondary. Just give it a try. Whenever we are miserable, find out who is miserable. Don't find out because of whom you are miserable. Who is miserable? In a fraction of a second, you are absolutely in deep samadhi. And this Samadhi is not a Jada Samadhi. I have seen for Samadhi for 8 hours. After 8 hours, Vain Tamaku Vain Chuna. Then again start the same thing. What will you do with that Samadhi? See? Samadhi, Bhagavad Sri Krishna describes Bhagavad Gita. Prajahati Yada Kama Sarvan Parthamanu Gatan Atman Neva Atmana Tushta the Pradhyastha Dochate. Samadhi means living in steady wisdom. Number one. Number two, what is the steady wisdom? Yada sarvan manogatan kamaan prajati. When we do not carry the burden of any desire in our mind, desire free existence is living in God. The whole life is spent only, I want to do this, I want to do that, I want to do this, there is no end to it. Okay, I understood. No desires, in deep sleep I have no desire. I have no desire. Therefore, all the wise people keep, people keep on sleeping. Yes. Atman me vatman atushta, the second condition. He who is at peace with himself. The life is fulfilled. There are no loose ends. And when there are no loose ends in life, thereafter, life is a celebration. It is a big time pass. See, friends, unless we get rid of this wrong identity that I am the gross body and therefore mother, father, husband, brother, wife, sister, you know, outlaw, all these are the uh, entities who are miserable reflect again and again on this. It is for this purpose that the Vayatma is explained. See, knowledge has got two components. One component of knowledge is that knowledge which is meant for rejecting cigarette smoking is injurious to health. When you read it, what should happen? Give me one more packet. <laughs> if cigarette smoking is injurious to health, if it can make any impact on us, we will stop smoking. So one part of the knowledge is meant for rejecting what we are not. And second part of the knowledge is asserting what we are. So here, the first part was what we are to reject. Now the second one. Ata Antaratma Nama. Now we shall talk about what is the Antaratma? Bhayatma, the external body. Antaratma, the internal body, the subtle body. Prutvi, Apa, Dejavayu, Akasha, Ichadvisha, Subhadukka, Kama, Moha, Vikalpanadvi, 
स्मृति लिंग उदात्त अनुदात्त रस दीर्घ मृत स्खरित गर्जित स्फुटित मुदित मृत गीत वादित प्रलय विजृंभिता श्रोता घाता रचयिता मंता मुद्धा करता विज्ञात्मा पुरुषा पुराण न्याय मीमांसा धर्मशास्त्राणी इति श्रवण घ्राण आकर्षण कर्म विशेषण करोती एष अंतरात्मा 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 ही द वन स्टार्टिंग फ्रॉम द फाइव ग्रेट एलिमेंट्स द अर्थ वाटर एटसेट्रा देन ऑल द मॉडिफिकेशंस इन द माइंड सच एज इच्छा द्वेष सुखम दुखम संगात चेतना भूति एटसेट्रा एंड द वेरियस काइंड्स ऑफ साउंड्स व्हिच आर चैंटेड यू नो दो हु लर्न दिस वेरी चैंटिंग दे विल नॉट चैंट सिंपल दे विल हैव द थ्री टाइप्स ऑफ साउंड्स सो रस्व दीर्घ प्लुत डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ देन गर्दित स्फुटित मुदित रोरिंग एंड हैप्पी मिजरेबल डांसिंग सिंगिंग एंड इन दिस मैनर ही बिकम्स द listener the smeller the taster the thinker the knower the doer in this manner this entity which is born in association with this mental modification then he who is studying the purana nyaya mimamsa dharma shastra etc and thereafter he is engaged in doing some karma and rejecting some karma this subtle body or the jiva is the antaratma Now make this picture clear. Body, like my lips are not talking, and your drums are not here. There is somebody behind the lips, and I hope there is somebody behind the ears. Huh? <laughs> If that somebody is not behind the ears, then it will not be heard. Now how simple it is. If we are, if we just try this, the embodied is independent of other than the body. Now work on it. The consequences of this knowledge. This is called as the Vedanta prakriya. It is not only mechanically the ability. मेरे तो गिरी धर भोपाल दूसरों को कोई ना इंतजार नहीं. Come to discover. therefore this antaratma the embodied one who is getting associated with the modifications of the mind desire desire wala chudi chudi wala lachiram chudi wala topi topi wala gussa gussa wala confusion confusion wala ये जो वाला वालकर है दैट इज द जीवात्मा एंड ही इज बॉर्न एवरी मोमेंट एंगर कम्स एंग्री एंगर गोज अवे कंफ्यूजन कम्स कंफ्यूज कंफ्यूजन गोज अवे बाय मिस्टेक जॉय कम्स जॉय फूल गोज अवे एंड द फूल रिमेन्स इन दिस मैनर the one who is constantly born and dies is this antaratma and he is the one who is experiencing joy sorrows and is engaged in various kinds of activities of hearing smelling doing not doing etc this is called as the antaratma now the teacher says go beyond this two atme लाइक माला माने माला आत्मा आत्मे यो बियॉन्ड दिस टू आत्मा वॉट इज द थर्ड आत्मा अथ अथ मीन्स आफ्टर वी हैव क्लियरली अंडरस्टूड दैट वॉट वी हैव इन थिंकिंग दैट वी आर द ग्रॉस बॉडी बाई आत्मा और वी आर द जीवा द सुखी दुखी जॉयफुल सॉरफुल सक्सेसफुल मिजरेबल Having understood these two clearly, now atha there is the third. 
If these two things are not clearly understood, then other than question, there is nothing in our mind. So what is said, Atha Paramatma Nama, now we shall tell you what is the Paramatma, Atha Kshara Upasaniya. Now this Paramatma has to be Upasaniya to be sought after, to be discovered, to be reached as Akshara. Akshara, the one which is never subjected to any loss. When the waking experience comes, in that waking experience, joy comes, joyful is born. Then the joy goes because all that comes must go. But there is one principle which is present before the birth of the joyful, which is supporting the joyful and when the joy goes, the joyful also goes. But this principle remains untouched. Dehino spinjata dehe kaumaram yovanam dera tatha dehantara prapti dhiras tatra namunyati. See friends, real Vedanta sadhana is when we are engaged in learning from our own immediate experiences. We don't have to see outside anything. Hatti. Like the child body was born, it grows. But we continue to do the same. Therefore, nobody has an experience that one is grown up. Because we don't have that experience because we don't grow. So, so many bodies have come and gone. But we are the same. See, friends. Even theoretically, if we accept it, we cannot justify our self becoming miserable on account of anything. See, take any experience in your life. When that experience happened, some bad experience, for example, good experiences we forget, bad we remember. That time, how miserable we were. Now that experience has gone. Now remember again the same. We don't become that miserable. See? So this one, which doesn't change, let any experience come and go. Now which are the experiences which come and go? To so put it in a nutshell, the experience of waker, they come after identification with the body, they remain as long as we are identified with the body, and the waker and its experiences disappear when there is no identification with the body. Then the dream. There also the same story. With the dream, the dreamer comes, good bad experiences, dream over, dreamer goes away. Same is the deep sleep and same is samadhi. But there is one principle in whom all these things are happening. I will just tell you one very simple technique, try. Just start playing what it will be like revealing as space. What must be the experience of space? Play that. Then we understand nainam chinnanti shastrani nainam dhati pavakaha na chainam klinayantyapaha na shosheti marutaha That it is not destroyed by the earth, that it is not made wet by the waters, burned by the fires or it is not dried by the air. That is nothing but space. Gadanupa moham. Audhud Gita talks about this. Space-like, not space, space-like. What is being space-like? Everything comes and goes in the space. Space doesn't come and doesn't go anywhere. <laughs> there are questions valid. Where is earth? Where is water? Where is fire? There is no valid question. Where is space? See, friends. 
then readers start playing with reference to the gross word play as space with reference to the mental world space play at the mental space with reference to the experiencer play at the conscious space these three spaces we keep on playing while play when we play nobody is bored you are just playing fool like we play with the children living in that experience then we come to know everything comes and goes jagra sapta sushuptyadi prapancham yat prakashate tat brahma hamiti jnatva that is our essential nature so ata paramatma nama yata akshara upasaniya now further such a pranayama pratyahara dharana dhyana samadhi yoga adhumana adhyatma chintakam padakadika va shamaka tandurova balakra shata sasra vikalpanamihi sadabhyate na upalabhyate na jayate na mriyate na shushati na kriddhate na dhyaki na kampate na giddhate now this paramatma is never attained by all your spiritual practices in one of the Upanishad and also in Audhuk Gita it says Oh Lord I have committed three sins please forgive me which are the three sins first sin I went for the various Tirtha Kshetras in search of you thereby I denied your omnipresence for this sin of mine please forgive me Oh Lord, I started singing your glory. Karte ho tum karaya, mera naam ho raha hai. So, the seeker says, by singing your glory, I have denied that you are beyond the scope of words. For this sin, forgive me. And the worst is, Oh Lord, I do meditation. Please forgive me. Oh, Maharaj. Here, this is the same thing said. Such a no love that day. This Paramatma is not gained by pranam, pratyar, dharana, jam, samadhi. It is not created out of any action. See, friends. This example I give a number of times. Is the sleep created by the deep sleeper? Can the waker ever enter the deep sleep? So what the waker is doing? Till such time, the waker is putting efforts, I want to sleep, sleep never begins. When this effort putting entity called as I and the efforts want, when they disappear, sleep begins. In the same manner. When I am doing meditation. I am doing pranayama. Till such time, efforts are, I is born. And when I is born, we are far away from the reality. And therefore, here is clearly said, such a pranayama, pratyara, dharana, jhana, samadhi, yoga, anumana, these are the yogic practices. Then, anumana, the various kinds of inferences, the pramana, which is, then Adhyatma Chintakam keep on imagining that Paramatma is like what? Vatakadika. Vatakadika means like the seed of the Banyan tree. That's why you know when many people see for meditation, they go in the Don't disturb all the way. It's not that. When we talk about Sati, Sukshma, Sattva Sukshma is that Anoho Aniyan Mahato Mahiyan Atma Se Ganto Nito Gohaya Tama Kratu Maishati Vita Shoka The one which is subtler than the subtlest and bigger than the biggest like the space Space is so subtle that it can enter the eye of the needle as so vast that it can contain universes together Therefore, 
So at that point the comes one goes on imagining Atma is so small and Shamukha Chandalova like the Chana or the rice size or Bala Dhra Shata Sahasra or you take the hair, tip of the hair you split it into 100 times and then that one by 100 tip is again further divided into thousand times what will be the small that is the type of Atma these are all nonsense. It cannot be comprehended by all these nataka and therefore the truth is na jayate na bhiyate na shishyati. <coughs> so find out that we is never born. We come to know that we never have experience of our birth. That about which we have no doubt or question. That is Varma. I have no doubt everybody calls me Dumbo. The so, Paramatma is Dumbo also. He has no problem. Therefore, na nirunaha sakshi bhutaha. So what is this? Uh, the Paramatma, Paramatma is beyond all attributes. See? And therefore sakshi bhutaha. Abhi very attentive. See? This thought we have seen in Dhrutrishi Vivek. The colors and forms are many. The eliminator of them is the region. Region is one. Because of the multiplicity of colors and forms, region doesn't become many. If they are removed, there is no loss to the region. If there are more colors added, there is no burden to the region. Be very attentive. When we get identified with the thoughts. Samsara is born. When we get disturbed by the thoughts, a meditator is born. And when we remain untouched by the presence and absence of the thoughts, then we are one with ourselves. When we get identified, prabhav, immediately, man, woman, young, old, happy, miserable are born. And when we are disturbed, I don't know what happens, you know, whenever I think for meditation, the thoughts come in my mind, what should I do? Bring them in the ear and remove them. <laughs> thoughts will come in the mind. He <coughs> prays. Our struggle in meditation is like what? We want to keep our eyes open, but I should not see anybody. <laughs> you may do anything your whole life. I want to keep something in front of the mirror, but there should not be any reflection in the mirror. What should you do? Close your eyes. Leave the mirror. Therefore, Sakshi Bhutaha. Sakshi Bhutaha means the one who is illuminator and never gets Ill the influence by what is illuminated. So again, practice on this. The other day, for the first time, I was with them. So as my old habit goes, I said, Mahatma Ji, how are you? Swami Ji, you are pulling my leg. Where I am a Mahatma? I said, okay, we have proof. How are you? Don't want me to be a fool. So when anything is said to us, we get influence. If we practice this, that as we listen to satsanga, listen to the worldly talks. Like so many times we have heard satsanga, nothing has changed. Because asangoham, asangoham, Asango ham puna puna. Invoke that faculty while dealing with the world. You will remain ever at peace. And what is that living ever at peace? You will start playing the drama that life has offered us. See, we all read Bhagavad and Ramayana. 
and both are the story of Bhagwan Rama and Bhagwan Krishna. And what is their story? Only one thing, both Rama and Krishna, they were doing natak. Rama Leela, Krishna Leela. There was nothing that is serious. And we become serious for nothing. Uh, why are you looking like this? Uh, something wrong. What is not wrong? Everything is wrong. Yes, everything is wrong. Correct it. Who can correct it? God has failed. <laughs> Anybody who is miserable, he is a strong ego. Okay. Therefore, Sakshi Bhutaha. Let us learn to be merely an illuminator. Never, never participate in the world. Lokanu Vartaram Tektva. Don't run after this word. This has always been like this. I was telling Sham, I am reading a, a story of one great Mahatma who recently, few years before, left his body in Bangalore. He lived for 185 years. He had this Kaya Kalpa Siddha. <coughs> Three times he did Kaya Kalpa. Born in 1755. And he was a prince of Patiala state. And when the Mughals had conquered the state, he came to Delhi on horseback those days. And he opposed the then ruling uh, Mughal emperor, Badur Shah Jafar. And he said, Sir, I have come for peace. So the king said, Look here, my dear, I am a king, but I am miserable. You are not a king, you are also miserable. If you want peace, see God. From then onwards, he didn't go back to his kingdom. He straight away went to the Himalaya. And thereafter, laid, laid the life of total surrender, removed everything, only one Lanmoti. And this happened when? Not when he was a young child. This happened when he was 55 years old man. See, friends, what is required is commitment. If we are imagining that his world will be improved and then we will be happy, he can never, never happen. Get involved in the world only that much so that you protect yourself from the world. That's all. In this world there are people who will be happy to torture. So give them job. But you don't get tortured. You only pretend because you are miserable to all of them. But you don't have to become miserable. The more you start leading the life, Sakshi Bhutaha. Act never react. One day, one person was going by air. Recently, I came from Bali. So, he heard, Don't go by this flight. This flight is going to crash. So, he got down. And the flight took and really got crashed. Oh, thank God, I am saved. Then he thought, let me go by train. So he got into the train. There also he heard the same voice. Don't go by this train. It's going to meet with an accident. He got down. The train made with an accident. Then he was going by the bus. <coughs> Again he heard the same sound. Oh, don't go by this bus. It is going to meet with an accident. Now this person got angry. Hey man, whosoever you are, where were you when I got married? <laughs> Don't react. Simply act in this way. If we start reacting, samsara is born. And when samsara is born, we cannot be happy. Therefore, 
निर्गुण साक्षी भूता शुद्ध निर अवयवात्मा केवल सूक्ष्म निष्कला निरंजनो निर्विकार शब्द स्पर्श रूप सगंध वर्धिता निर्विकल्प निराकांक्षा सर्वव्यापी स अचिंत निर्वर्ण्य चुना अशुद्धा अपूता निष्क्रिय तस्य संसारो नास्ति This absolute self that we are is shuddha. Shuddha means what? Pure. Pure means what? Pure means that where other than the that thing, nothing else is. See, for example, my shirt. There is one color, peach color. So if there is only one uh, peach color all over, it is not impure. But if there is one spot of a pencil or a ink spot. Then we say, hey, there is something dirty on that. In the same manner, in the non-dual reality, duality and sense of otherness is the impurity. Therefore, shuddha. There is no impurity of otherness. Thereafter, nira avayava atma. Avayava means limbs. There are no limbs. This means there are no parts. It's a homogeneous, absolute. Existence, kevalaha. Kevalaha means there are no differences on account of the jiva jagat ishvara bheda. There are five differences which come out: jiva jiva bheda, jagat jagat bheda, jiva ishvara bheda, jiva jagat bheda, and ishvara jagat bheda. These five types of differences are totally absent. That absolute immaculate self is the absolute paramatma. Paramatma, sukshma. Sukshma means what? More the qualities, grosser we are. Earth has got five qualities. Shabdas parsha upar sagarna. Water, except Bombay water, has got four qualities. Shabdas parsha upar sa. Gandha should not be there. Then the fire has got only three qualities: shabda, sparsha, rupa. Rasa and gandha is not there in the fire. This technique is encouraged by the Udupi hotels. They give you hot, hot rasa. So there is no place for taste. <laughs> How it is? It is hot. Hot is not a taste. See, today I was talking to somebody. <laughs> Have you ever thought about this? What? Panjansi, tikhaban, milchi, chilies. It is not a taste. See, when you take sweet on your tongue, you get the experience of sweetness. If you apply the sugar on your skin, you don't get the taste. If you take salt, you get the taste. If you put the salt on your skin, you don't get the taste. If you put the chili on your tongue, you get the pungency. The same chili you rub on your skin, there you get pungency. When you eat the sweet and bring out from the other end, you don't get the experience of sweet. But if you if you take lot and lot of chili, ah 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 ah. कोल्हापुरी मिर्ची एंड देन यू गो ओवर ए रामा कृष्णा गोविंदा बिकॉज पंजनसी इज नॉट ए टेस्ट इट इज ओनली इरिटेशन ऑफ द टिश्यूज सो सूक्ष्म द फायर हैज गॉट ओनली थ्री क्वालिटीज नो रस एंड गंध द एयर हैज गॉट ओनली टू क्वालिटीज शब्द एंड स्पर्श स्पेस हैज ओनली वन क्वालिटी So in that order, they are subtler and subtler. Mind does not have any of the five qualities. Shab das parshar u par sagandha. These five qualities are totally absent for the mind. Therefore, mind is subtler than the five great elements and the five sense organs. And the mind is an expression, manifestation of the conscious reality. Therefore, conscious reality is still subtler than the mind. In this manner, when we start discarding one by one all the attributes, we come to a point, ahiyam, that which cannot be further rejected, that is the Paramatma. Don't try to understand. 
because intellect cannot comprehend it. If you are understood, it is only concept. So, Sukshmaha, Nishkalaha. Nishkalaha, there are no facets. Like a diamond has got so many colors in the same manner, there are no facets. That it is uh, sometimes big, sometimes small. It is like you know, the moon has the facets, kala, chandra kala. The Pratama, Dhritiya, Dhritiya, etc. In the same manner, we can never have the experience of our partial presence. In absolute, there cannot be fractions. The truth is fractionless. Nishkaraha, Nirandaraha, Nirvikaraha, the one which has no blemish of any kind, Nirvikaraha, where there are no modifications. Now see, all these things are absolutely applicable to the space. Nirvikaraha, all the modifications happen in the space. But the space does not get modified, and therefore, Shabda Sparsha Rupal Sagandha Varjitaha. All the five qualities are totally absent, and Nirvikalpaha, there is no Vikalpa. Vikalpa is whether it is or it is not. This option is not there. Be very attentive. Everything in this world is recognized through the process of thoughts in two ways. It is and it is not. There is a book on my palm. When I remove it, there is no book on my palm. So the book is recognized in two ways. It is and it is not. In this manner, we cannot have the experience of our being that sometime I am Atma, sometime I am Sage Atma. No. <laughs> there is no Vikalpa. There is no optional presence and nirakamchaha and therefore there is no desire of any kind. Therefore, friends, the simplest spiritual practice is this. Never have any desire of any kind. This is all. How the desires come in our life by way of complaint. And the habit of complaining goes to such an extent that we complain about God to the Lord. Why did you create this word? Complain. God says, Tum kare kare. <laughs> When we live at a zero complaint level, there are no thought formation. So, Nira Kamchaha Sarvava Vyapi, the one which is including everything and yet beyond, so Achintyaha Nirvaranyaha cannot be thought of. So, what is to be done? Stop thinking. The one principle. Those who think, they cannot laugh. Those who laugh, they don't think. I am thinking how to laugh. <laughs> you cannot. These two things are contrary. Thinkers can never be happy. They are all the time worried. Worried one or the other thing. And they are worried about that. That is not worried about this. The day we discover this principle, this principle I discovered in a very simple way. When somebody takes my clothes, washes them, irons properly and gives me back, I am so happy. When somebody prepares food for me, nice food and gives me, I am so happy. In the same manner, when somebody thinks for me, why should worry? If you want to be happy, never be a leader. Be always a follower. Like Nakula and Sahadev, among the Pandavas, Nakula and Sahadev, we have heard hardly anything about them because they are not thinking. <laughs> Dhritarashtra is there, Yudhishthir is there. So let him think. What will you do? Follow. You do Zuru or Stop. Relax. <laughs> Life is so beautiful there. <laughs> never, never, if you really want to be happy, don't get into this habit of thinking, I don't know what is going to happen. If you don't know, who asked you? 
See, I was in Bali in a meeting business conference. There they asked me this question. Uh, Swamiji, we heard about 12th, no, 21st December 2012. There is going to be a deluge. What is your opinion? I said, where is the choice? <laughs> But what do you think about it? I said, look here. When you die alone, then after death, there is no company to walk with. When all of us die together, there is a big crowd. <laughs> you don't have to think. See? Therefore, the moment you stop thinking, you are there. Take right now the experience. When I utter a word, it is a thought. After that word is uttered, I keep shut. There is no thought. First, recognize this. Sri Ram. Sri Ram. So one thought, presence of the sounds we run. Other thought, absence of the sounds we run. Both of them are thoughts. But there is one principle which eliminates both the presence of the thought and the absence of the thought. Now the third principle, now cognize this. That which is supporting the sound, that which is supporting the silence, is beyond the sound and silence. Sri Sound and silence are cognized through the agency of thoughts. But the principle which eliminated both the sound and the silence is not cognized by the agency of thoughts. It is something like this. Eyes can see everything. Can the eyes see the mind? Mind can feel joy and sorrows. Can the mind feel the consciousness? Therefore, achintya. And if the truth is achintya, why get entangled in the sense organs, mind and intellect? And to get withdrawn from the entanglement in the sense organs, mind, intellect, what is required is total dispassion towards God. See? And when we learn this principle, we don't get involved with anything or anybody. Like a very dog state, cannot be straightened. Then what is to be done? Enjoy the crookedness of the dog's face. That's it. <coughs> Instead of reacting, protect yourself. Achimita. <coughs> and therefore, nirvarya. And it cannot be explained in words. You cannot describe. Therefore, all the words which are used in the scriptures are only in the language of negation, that it is without, like you know, varjita, uh, without the sound, without the touch, without the form, without the taste, without the smell, because these are the only things known to us. 
the unknown is always indicated with the reference of the known. This is a simple rule. When somebody is introduced, how that person is introduced? Uh, meet Guptaji. Who is Guptaji? It's a common noun. No, no, he is the son-in-law of Mr. Varmaji. Varma, who is Varma? Varma? That one. Oh God, so I should be careful. Yes. <laughs> Therefore, this unknown Gupta is indicated through the reference of the known. What is known to us? Shabda Sparsha Uparasaranda is five organs of action or perception and their respective field. They are known to us. So that which is free from, divide of, this is called as Paramatma. Therefore, in fact, it is not a description. See? How is the earth? Round. Waters? Liquid. Fire hot, flames, become a walls, air, none of these things, space, space is like space. Try to describe the space. Lesser the attributes, difficult is to describe. See? Therefore, there that which cannot be described or spoken of, and therefore, Keep your mouth shut. That's all. So Amiti will keep her mouth shut, but the mind keeps on blah 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 blah. <laughs> mouth is shut, but inside there are volcanoes, non-stop. And this is only because we have never given attention to this. <coughs> that we talk maximum to ourselves. Just try this. Stop talking to yourself. With the people you talk, hey, how are you? No, not like this. How are you? Take a yard job. But inside, absolutely at peace. Outside, you don't talk. I am observing more. One board is hanging there. Like I did. Mangal Sutra. <laughs> and inside, non-stop, going on and on and on. Therefore, Nirvarneha, and he who is abiding in this, Unati, Aputani, and Ashuddhani, all the impurities with reference to the body and with reference to the jiva, all of them are absolutely purified. Nishkriya, Tasya Samsaro Nasti. He who has recognized his identity as this reality, for him there is no samsar. Means what? The one who is living as the gross body and the one who is living as the jiva, for them alone there is a samsar. These are the two things we clearly understood. Get out of the body and recognize oneself to the embodied, but this embodied is not one per head, but one Paramatma expressing through all the bodies as life. This is understanding. But normally what happens? We get lost only in the sin and merit, going to hell and heaven, doing pap and punya and the karma from the last life and the next life karma. Don't get lost in that. Enough of it. Otherwise, whole life will go into this, you know, the Lodan Pundikaro, and then go on worrying that money I have given to him, what he has done, I don't know. So, some start starting. The other day somebody gave me one shot. And I put it on my shoulder and walking and it fell down. I didn't realize. The person who gave me was very good. So I will give you such a big shot with great love and you just threw it away. I said, you never gave it to me. No, no, I gave you. I said, if you gave me, what will happen to my shot? Why you are worried? <laughs> but I gave you as a steel with you, it is not mine. 
If you are really given, don't bother whether I do this or that. See, friends, when we come to cognize this, then we have to live in this absolute. And in this, there is neither a friend nor an enemy. Only one thing, like this. You know, milk doesn't suit my system. So I don't take milk and milk products. Does it mean that I hate milk? See? Some people have got, you know, this uh, wheat allergy or peanut allergy. So when you eat peanut, you get all the diggery and scratching, so you don't eat the peanuts. Does it mean that you hate them? No. Only one thing we have to remember, that because of which our peace of mind is disturbed, keep away. Protect yourself from yourself and from the world. Nobody will ever change for us. We have to change according to the requirement and protect yourself. Okay. This we are telling <coughs> after going through many, many terrible experiences. Not one. Therefore, friends, we live in this knowledge. Tasya samsaro nasti. He alone will be free from this samsara. What is samsara? Samsara is living at a very um, high complaint level. For everything there is a complaint. Or all the time getting involved where we are not required. The last time I gave this example, I came from Australia. Next flight within 24 hours going to London. So Sham asked me, Kamini, why are you running so much? Come by this flight, go by next flight. You have no ashram, no nothing. Why are you running? I said, okay, I stop going. From now onwards, I stay in your house. No, no, not like that. <laughs> Before he has to tell me, Swamiji, Jane ka kya lenke, in his wisdom, I leave the place. Living in that alertness is called a spiritual life. And this is what we don't recognize. Where we are not required, we should never stay for a moment. Come to cognize this principle. Where we are not required, we need not open our mouth. Where it is not wanted, we should not give any advice. Then only we are going out of the samsara. Otherwise, the other day, who was talking? See, people don't take the benefit of my experience, Swamiji. At least you tell them. In this conference I went, there was one elderly person told me. Swamiji, I don't know how to tell the people. They should take the benefit of my advice, uh, my experience. But they don't. So I told, I said, look here. Papa has taken the school la. He has got a good experience. You don't have to eat. Take only the experience without eating the school. Experience cannot be transferred. You have to have your own experience. But we old people talk all the time about this. People don't take the benefit of my experience. It will be a loss. It will be a Therefore, Tasya Samsaro Nasti. And when we thus start living as absolute conscious blissful existence, thereafter, Yogaratova, Bhogaratova, Sangaratova, Sangavihina. Then really the life is lived. Therefore, these three Atmas which are told by Atma, then Antaratma and Paramatma. Who are we? CHR. <coughs> we have to go beyond these two. And that which cannot be rejected is the Paramatma. The gross body is rejected. The subtle body is rejected. But the absolute self cannot be rejected. Come to cognize this. 
and to cognize this, only what is required is our pre-occupation through our senses in this world in terms of achievements or fail and failures. This has pre-occupation has to be drawn. And to drop this, efforts are not required. Whenever there are efforts, we are going the wrong way. When you do pranayam, how long will you do? 10 times, 20 times, 100 times. After that, how oh, you know how it Why tired? Because effort and I was born. But do we get tired of breathing? Because there are no efforts, there is no I born. Living in this wisdom is living in tune with the Paramatma. Tasya samsaho nasti. For him, there is neither earlier life, nor present life, nor future life. No hell, no heaven. Neither earlier birth, nor next birth. Then thereafter what? Thereafter time pass. Now also it is only time pass. <laughs> what else? If we live this moment, do you think there is going to be any change in this world? Our name may be Sukram or Dukram. It makes no difference. <laughs> world has always been like this. Come to live in this wisdom. You are in tune with Paramatma. See? Therefore, gross body is the house. The Jiva Bhava is a manifestation. It is not the individuality. And Paramatma is the one who is manifesting. Keep this picture in front of your mind. A number of bulbs. In that, bulbs are many, lights appear to be many, but there is only one principle of light. Bhagavan Shankaracharya talks in his Dakshina Murti Stotram, wherein he says, Nana Chitra Gatodara Sthita Maha Deepa Prabha Maswaram Jnanam Yasyatu Chakshuradikarna Dvara Mahispandave Jana Viti Tameva Bhanta Padubhati Ekat Samastam Jagat Tasmai Sri Guru Murtahe Namaidam Sri Dakshida Murtahe Like one pot, like our body. <coughs> Nana Chidra. And there are many holes in that pot. One hole is of the size of the eyes. Other hole is like that the ear. Third hole is like the nose. And in that there is but one light one candle and where the light comes out of those holes it appears as if many lights are coming but there is one light holes are many in the same manner there is one mind which is expressing through the many holes of our faculties appear to be many and in the same manner one conscious existence expressing through many bodies it appears as if it has become many, but it is one. Come to discover this one here. Tasya samsaro nasti. For him, there is no samsara. And when we thus come to recognize this reality, then we come to know, Atma Sanya Shiva Shanta Eka Eva Dvayasana Brahma Rupataya Brahma Kevaram Pratimasate See in our next class. Om Purnamadaha Purnamidam Purnamadaha Purnamudachate Purnasya Purnamadaya Purnameva Vishate Om Shanti 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 Hari Om Sri Purjo Namaha Hari Om